We are used to monophonic sounds, that is, sounds that enter through a single channel, whereas binaural beats refer to the combination of a different tone entering each of our ears with the ability to change the frequency of our brain waves. This frequency change can induce various states of consciousness, from relaxation, meditation or sleep, to concentration, attention span and memorization. To better understand how binaural sounds work, they are recordings of different sound waves that have been recorded through two different speakers so that when you listen to the recording, you end up perceiving a third sound. Let's get to know the different wave frequencies and their effects on the brain and body. Each of these frequency types corresponds to different levels of wave activity taking place in the brain. Thus, gamma waves, which are over 30 Hz, can induce concentration, learning, and memorization. These waves are primarily associated with attention, focus, information processing, and problem solving. Beta wave frequencies, which range from 13 to 30 Hz, occur during most activities while awake, but there is a subdivision that is important to know. Medium beta waves, which go from 15 to 20 Hz, are associated with increased energy, performance, and efficiency in work performance. But high beta waves, ranging from 18 to 30 Hz, in some people, it is associated with significant stress, anxiety, paranoia, hyperactivity, and even elevated overstimulation. Alpha waves range from 8 to 12.99 Hz and correspond to an active but relaxed and or resting mind. This is a state that encourages creativity and productivity, while it can reduce symptoms of depression and anxiety. You can enter this state by daydreaming, meditating, or practicing mindfulness, but also by practicing yoga or even during exercise such as jogging when entering the state known as runner's high where a kind of uh, autopilot is activated. Theta waves range from 4 to 7.99 Hz and are activated during sleep phases 1 and 2 which is not deep sleep. The fact that these waves are visible both in light sleep phases and during concentration tasks again in a kind of uh, autopilot state, makes them very interesting. Theta wave frequency is present during healing processes, as well as when recalling emotional experiences, both good or bad, and memory retrieval and encoding new memories now as thoughts. It is also when the brain is learning and or activating short-term memory that theta waves come into action, promoting creativity, self-regulation and grounding processes in the frontal areas of the brain. Delta waves range from 1 to 3.99 Hz, which are produced during stage 3 sleep or deep sleep, and it is where the brain transitions from theta to delta waves. This is where dreams occur, but also where your body has the opportunity to recover, your immune system to strengthen, and conditions such as stress, anxiety, and others to balance and heal. When delta wave activity is dominant, the person is in deep sleep, but not necessarily dreaming. Each binaural frequency has its own properties and benefits that you can use according to your needs. If you need to decrease anxiety, Listening to frequencies in the theta or delta level has been shown to reduce anxiety in experiments. This effect seems to increase as the time spent listening to binaural beats becomes frequent and can be experienced from the very first exposure to these sounds. Also, to increase concentration cognitive flexibility, prolonged attention, and memorization. Studies have shown that listening to binaural beats for 15 minutes 
can make you experience less distractions once the session with the sounds is over. As a side note, cognitive flexibility refers to the brain's ability to adapt to new, changing, or unexpected events, but it is also the ability to switch from one way of thinking to another. This is also known as task switching and binaural beats in a non-invasively manner influence you to develop greater cognitive flexibility. In terms of attention span, it turns out that stimulation with 40 Hz during one experiment showed faster results compared to simulation with 16 Hz. However, this improvement is not observed immediately, but after the brain has had time to assimilate and consolidate the information during sleep. Enhancing creativity depends on dopamine production, and in studies with gamma and alpha wave binaural beats, regardless of the frequency used, it has been possible to influence divergent thinking, which corresponds to creativity, but not convergent thinking, which induces focus and direction. Taking other parameters into account, it has been determined that binaural beats are not suitable for a single approach, and that the individual cognitive conditions of each person must be taken into account for their implementation and eventual improvement. If you wish to improve the quality of your sleep, binaural beats in the theta range may help as it has been used successfully to treat insomnia sufferers. Beats in the theta pattern or in the vicinity of 6 Hz would help to reduce the experience of pain as all physical ailments have their origin in a brain signal. Back, joint and other pains may be the result of inflammation or elevated blood sugar levels and binaural beats can work as a complementary medicine to medications and therapies you may be prescribed. For mood enhancement, theta sounds would stimulate endorphins in the brain, triggering a surge of positive feelings. But also, it has been found that listening to theta sounds for about 30 minutes can help induce a state of relaxation, preparing you for meditation. In the content box of this video, you will find a link to the full article where you will also find useful tips if you want to take advantage of binaural beats to improve your quality of life. If you like this video, please click on the like icon. Remember to subscribe on the red button and activate the little bell to receive notifications every time there is something new to learn in nature's way in the art to heal yourself. See you soon.